good evening welcome to this video we will try to demonstrate experiment number 1 to blink an led by programming gpio in msp430 all of us know we have a red led at p1.0 and a green led at p1.6 so we will try to write program for this and uh, we will try to demonstrate this so if we uh, look at the flow chart the first thing what we need to do is we need to disable the watchdog timer if i fail in disabling this watchdog timer msp will keep itself restarting since we work wish to work with red led at p1.0 after disabling the watchdog timer i need to turn the direction of p1.0 as output after that i need to toggle it switch on and off continuously i can use logical exclusive or operator to do this and we need to write a delay routine maybe a software delay or we will use a timer to the, do this let's check out how to disable the watchdog timer if you look at watchdog timer control register w c d t c t o uh to stop the watchdog timer we need to supply this password and we need to make this whole bit as one so let me take you to the code the first line of the embed c code is an inclusion we have to include msp430 g2553 header file in the main function we are trying to disable the watchdog timer as i said we have to mention the password and we have to hold the watchdog timer we know red led is at p1.0 so we need to set the direction of port 1 dir bit 0 and we have learned how to set logically r with 1 in the corresponding position then p1.0 will move to output direction within a while one loop we have uh, toggled p1 out bit 0 by using logical exclusive or operation we have written a software delay here by initializing a variable i volatile unsigned long i initialize it to 5000 decrement i until i is not zero this while this while one loop is going to repeat now we will try to demonstrate this using uh, two tools number one code composer studio and number two energia so when i try to open this code composer studio version 6 it is asking me a workspace so i can browse my workspace or i can use the default workspace and when you try to open this code composer studio version 6 so this is how uh, you see the first screen this is how you see your uh, first screen on the top uh, uh, right corner you can see there are two perspectives edit perspective debug perspective so by default uh, uh, it opens in edit perspective now there uh, the first thing what we need to do is we need to go to file new project so when you try to create a new project it will ask you for the target so your target is msp430 g2553 so you have a family of msp processors which can be supported here now when you give when you you have to type a project name maybe uh, first dot c and an empty project with main c when you use this uh, this is a c file and when you choose this file if you do finish it will create a project now you can look the project first dot c 
created in the project explorer window this is your project explorer window so the next thing we need to do is we need to write a c file so i have written the same file here hash include msp 432g2553.h uh, volatile unsigned long i integer i within the main function within the main function i have disabled the watchdog timer i have made red uh, led hanging at p1.0 as output and within a while one loop i have toggled p1 out bit 0 and after typing your file you need to go to project and you need to say build so when you build a file when you build your file the build completion can be seen in the console so i was trying to rebuild the file when i build the file you can see in the console build finished if there are any errors you can see them in the errors window or warnings window so the next thing after building you need to do debug in run if you debug so you can watch automatically uh, the perspective was changed from edit to debug you are in the debug perspective you can watch the in the console loading was complete so when loading was done you can have this run or resume button activated once if you run this button your execution will start and you can see your led blinking on the a screen so to summarize the steps what we do to work with ccs or code composer studio is we have to try to open a project we have to write a file you have to build the file and you have to debug the file and run the file now let's try to understand how do we use energia so when we try to code the same thing in energia energia is rich with libraries and the code goes like this the first line hash define now i mean to say red led on the launch pad from this minute is called as led so energia contains two uh, functions setup void setup and void loop what do we write in this void setup is a line which will initialize i mean to say the red led is called as led and the mode pin mode library we are using this pin mode library function to make this red led the pin at which this led is led is connected as output so pin mode led comma output this line will make the direction of pin at which red led is hanging as an output this is one time thing we need to do in void setup now if you go to void loop inside this void loop you have to write the lines which are needed to be repeated the second library what we try to use here is digital write uh to led we are writing logic 1 so this will turn on the led and uh, the third library delay 1000 delay is the function which builds up a delay of uh, 1000 milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds is equal to 1 second so we turn on led we wait for 1 second and we will try to turn off the led by repeating the same library function digital write led comma low and again 
one second okay let's try to learn how we use this with energia i'm back on the desktop i was double clicking on energia when you open this energia you can see these two functions void setup and void loop so as i have understood the code i will try to copy it paste it into the template now the first button uh, on the tick mark is called as uh, this is what we should use to compile now you can watch the compiling was done the compiling was done and before you use the second button on the menu uh, which is used for uploading you need to make sure you connect your uh, msp 430 f5529 to the usb cable and you need to go to tools and you need to choose your board the board what i'm using for energia is msp 430 f5529 both the boards are similar just to show you a variation i was using f5529 okay the next thing inside tools i need to do is i need to choose the serial port we have chosen com23 and how do we know that it is com23 yes i will go to the control panel i will try to go to the control panel uh or i will go to my pc i'll go to uh, manage inside manage there is something called device manager inside the device manager just check over your ports you can see this msp application uart1 is at com23 so you have to check this and you need to go back and choose your board as msp4 that f5529 and serial port as com23 that, that's the reason i choose it as com23 so we have already compiled so the only thing which was left to do is upload when you upload when uploading was done you can watch uh, your green led red led blinking so i can change the code 